What's waiting for you at the University of Akron? It's energy, excellence, and opportunity. The University of Akron continues to set the standard for excellence in student success. A new gold standard in higher education. It's an exceptional faculty, excellent academic programs, world-class research, state-of-the-art technology, and a vibrant campus life with brand new facilities. The University of Akron. Energy, excellence, and opportunity. Lots of opportunity. One of our favorite sections of Live from the Circle is heading to the kitchen where we invite some of the best chefs of the city to cook with us, like Jonathan Bennett of Moxie. How did you get here? Uh, I came down the hill. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, my wife suckered me into moving to Cleveland about really? 10 years ago. Yeah. You are from? Grew up in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Went to CIA, my Beautiful wife in CIA, which is Culinary Institute of America, mm -hmm. Hyde Park. And, uh, we traveled around the country a while, Virginia, North Carolina, Cincinnati, and Cleveland. And it's not a bad town. Ah, not a bad town. Glad to hear you say that. I think so too. What are you going to be cooking today? Um, you know, tis the season, corn and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, simple, simple, simple. I do this at home, I do it at the restaurant. And we're going to do it today. Just corn, tomatoes, arugula, corn, onion, tomatoes, that's arugula. it? I got a little cheese I picked up at the, uh, at the Cheese Society. Here, I go to the farm about two or three times a week mm -hmm. and buy some, some corn and tomatoes from this local farmer. But this is the way I cook my corn. Okay. Just peel the husk back. I actually even take the husk off at home. Mm -hmm. I just leave it on for a little fancy right. purposes here. Um, a little olive oil, salt, pepper mm -hmm. on the grill and quick, like two or three minutes. You don't want to overcook the corn. It, it does, it gets gummy and chewy. And that's probably the biggest fault of like the home cook is that overcooked corn. Just basically. need to heat it through. Just eating it through, you know, you're just setting those starches. And you know, you don't want to cut too deep into the into the kernel. Why not? You get the like the, the fibrous part of the kernel instead of just that sweet little pop of like the corn milk. Now if you're gonna make like a, a soup or something, you, then you can scrape all the juice out of the kernel out of the right. cob there. So corn. Some corn? Yep. We're gonna throw this in our bowl. And this is, this is something you can do for 30 or 300 or, or three, you know? A little bit of red onion, not too much. You don't want that like strong onion flavor mm -hmm. to, to really overpower it. I've already seasoned the corn whenever I grilled it. So you, whenever you're cooking, yeah. building those flavors up Season is, is the go. key. Season as you go. And then this is a great little brandy wine tomato. I mean, you can just see all the, mean. all the funkiness of it, you know? <laughs> it just looks ugly. It yeah. looks like it's going to taste good. That's kind know? of a rule of vegetables. The uglier it is, the better the Uglier, the better. Yeah. Absolutely. So then just a nice, like a smaller dice on this. You know, you don't want it to be too much bigger than the corn. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a rule of thumb whenever you're, you're doing salads and whatnot. You know, if you have something that's really big, it better be either the standout feature of it or it's just going to seem odd in there, you know, if you've got this big hunk of bread in your bread salad. Mm -hmm. you know? So keep your, keep your proportions. Yeah, so, so, it, you don't, so you can mix it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've, got, if you've got this big hunk of bread, you can't fit anything else in there. Mm -hmm. So corn, tomatoes, a little onion. We're going to season it up because the tomatoes were not seasoned. And then we're just going to put a little bit of a uh, little red wine vinegar, not okay. a lot. And this is just a barrel aged red wine vinegar. Okay. And just a little acidity. You got the sweetness of the tomatoes. You got sweetness mm -hmm. from the uh, corn. Okay. You know, especially this time of year, tomatoes are really sweet. They're not high acid. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So this is just really simple. Do this at the last minute. You can see how quickly you it can, comes together. You can get it to this Let's get point that right salad here. in here. And you know, and then a little bit of arugula, and then we're going to add that little bitterness. So we've got sweet, we've got a little salty. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to put the salty here in just two seconds. Um, and then bitter. So you've got, you know, if you think about oriental cooking, it's mm -hmm. all about contrasting flavors, mm -hmm. you know. And this is a little cheese I picked up at the uh, Cheese Society. What kind of cheese is it? It's called Leonza. It's a Fiscalini cheese. It's similar to like Comte or Appenzoller, um, which is just a, you know, that, that mountain cheese from the border of Switzerland and France. That's beautiful. It's a simple salad, easy to do. Appreciate your being here. Thank you My so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Bringing Northern Ohio to your door every month, Northern Ohio Live Magazine's proud to support Live from the Circle. Dining, theater, basically all that's unique to our region can be found on northernohiolive.com. Arts, culture, and living. Northern Ohio Live.